Although we usually call them vessels, Carter suction dredges are generally not self-propelled. They are towed to their work site by tugboats. Once in place, the skipper positions the vessel by dropping the main spud pole to prevent the dredger from floating away with the current. Then the anchors are dropped on either side. Steel cables run from these anchors towards pulleys at the end of the cutter ladder and from there along the cutter ladder to winches on deck. With these winches the cutter head can now be pulled across the width of the dredge cut in both directions. Once in place the dredger is now ready to work. The cutter ladder with the cutter head at the end is lowered to the bottom. The rotating cutter head cuts into the soil to be dredged and is pulled across the bottom horizontally at the same time. The loosened material along with a large amount of water is drawn towards the suction mouth by the dredge pumps. The mixture of soil and water is then pumped through a pipeline that runs from the dredger across the water towards the shore. The dredged soil is discharged at a designated dumping area or, for instance, a reclamation site. There, the water runs away freely, whereas the soil particles settle in the immediate vicinity. Gradually, a heap of dredged material is formed. At the end of each dredge cut, the spud carrier moves forward and the same process continues in the opposite direction. This cycle comes to an end when the spud carrier cannot move forward any further. The dredge is then positioned in the axis of the dredge cut and the help spud is lowered to keep the dredge in place. The main spud is hoisted and spud carrier and main spud are moved backward to start position. The main spud is dropped, the help spud is hoisted and a new dredge cycle can start again.